And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. While cold will certainly be the big story through at least Monday afternoon into Monday night, We've got a wide range of weather conditions expected here in the Centennial State over the next couple of days. Now, let's first start out with the cold, then we'll bounce around to some of the snow and freezing drizzle. These are wind chill advisories in effect tonight through tomorrow morning, and then a second round a little more expansive from Sunday night into Monday morning, and I think that's when the coldest weather hits the hardest. That's when we're likely to see some of those more dangerous wind chill values down around minus 20 to minus 25. Take a look at the low temperature trends over the next six mornings here in Colorado Springs. Sunday, three degrees your low tomorrow down to negative two on Monday still in single digit territory Tuesday but finally some more moderate air moves back into the region with lows back to the 20s by next Friday and Saturday take a look at this our uh, producer back in the booth Kaya just told me that she just got word that DIA is diverting flights due to low visibility and fog we're seeing fog reducing visibility in the Denver area up to around a quarter of a mile or less it's quite a different scene here for now but I think that lower ceiling makes it down into southern Colorado later tonight. And not only do we see fog in your forecast, we could see some freezing fog, some freezing drizzle and some light snow showers as well. For now, still just barely sitting above the freezing mark in the Springs and Pueblo, both areas in the upper 30s. But for Monument, you've seen the front reach the area, so it's much colder here. But notice for now, still seeing a mix of sunshine and clouds outside temp in the mid 20s. And here is that cold front butted up right against the mountain areas. I know as meteorologist Alex O'Brien mentioned this morning, it's a very shallow layer of dense cold air. Think about colder air being very heavy, so it weighs down. It's going to make it right up against the eastern slopes. And in these instances, say for example, you want to go ski in the mountains tomorrow, highs up there will be in the 20s, whereas our highs here in the plains likely only in the teens. Now there is some limited moisture to work with here, and we do have a little bit of rain and snow showers showing up up across the uh, high plains, generally just east of Denver, where we're seeing the fog, also some snow showers in the mountain areas, and a little bit of a rain snow mix down into parts of Bach and Los Animas counties, even a little bit of pink showing up and there is a cause for concern for some freezing drizzle late tonight up through about midnight here into parts of southern Colorado. Overall, not expecting a big fall of snow, some flurries, some light snow showers possible late tonight and into the morning hours on Sunday. Some of that could linger, but overall not expecting any more than maybe an inch of total accumulation for areas that even see that much. I would say to count yourself lucky. Now we'll go back to the cold air once again. This Arctic air outbreak is expected to stick around Sunday night into Monday. Eventually by Tuesday it begins to lift north and by the later portion of next week we'll finally see some more mild air return here to southern Colorado. So a couple of brutal days to get through. That's really the main message here. Lows tonight down to the single digits in many areas. Could even see some negative lows into the eastern plains. Highs tomorrow. My friends, this will be about 30 degrees below the average for this time of the year. We'll call it cold and potentially unsettled, but really it's going to be overcast and foggy with maybe a few light snow showers. Take a look at Sunday here on the super seven day forecast. Look at those wind chill values hour by hour, generally between about three and maybe negative eight degrees. Finally, as we make our way into Tuesday and Wednesday, we see a return of above freezing temperatures. Also seeing that Arctic air here in Pueblo, very cold afternoon highs, frigidly cold mornings as well. By the end of next week, temperatures back to the mid 50s. For Canyon City, it's going to be cold for about the next 48 to 72 hours, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel with 50s by the end of the seven day period. And for Woodland Park, again, not as cold here in Teller County because of the higher elevation as, say, Colorado Springs and Pueblo. We're still very cold, though, with highs in the 20s through Monday, Andy, and lows down to the single digits. If you have to be outside, make sure you are layered up and not leaving any skin exposed. It's going to be very, very cold here.